I'm here with half of the NC State Foreigner Medley Relay that broke the U.S. Open and NCAA records, uh, 324.59. Uh, we're going to talk to Kylie Alons and Julia Poole first. Um, Julia, I'd like to start with you on the broadcast. You know, you said you weren't even supposed to be on this relay. Can you take me through kind of before this relay and, and how you did end up being on this relay? Yeah, so... Um... Heather was supposed to be on the relay probably and um, unfortunately she wasn't able to come so I figured I'd probably be put in her spot um, and I don't know it was really fun and I tried not to think about it before my 200 IM tonight um, and I just tried to focus one at a time. Um, yeah. Had you ever anchored a 400 medley relay for NC State before? Uh, I don't think I have. No, I think that was my first one. Was that, I mean, I know you said you try to take it one at a time, but you know, were there nerves? Was there excitement? How, how are you feeling, you know, just about this being the first time in that position? Oh, I was incredibly nervous. Um, obviously the competition that we were up against was pretty big too. So I knew I kind of had to just take it as it came and I stepped up on the blocks and I, just they gave me such a great lead and I was like oh my gosh we can be national champions and so I just did everything I could to get my hands on that wall yeah and then just more for both of you you know heading into this relay was there a game plan was was the plan to get as big of a lead heading heading into Julia's leg um did did Braden have a talk with you about this relay or did did you girls talk about it in the ready room or beforehand just because those four teams in the last heat were all so close I think it was like three tenths six tenths separated all four of you uh seed time wise at least I mean honestly um we didn't really have like a talk like as a group with Braden or anything but we had like a huddle right before and we just kind of said you know the you know encouraging things and like safe starts and, but it's pretty it was pretty chill honestly um like we knew, we knew we were all like prepared for it. Yeah. And, you know, coming off of the relay and Kylie, for you coming off of uh, the 50 free, how are you feeling heading into this relay? It was, were you able to kind of take it one at a time tonight? <clears throat> yeah, I felt pretty good. Like there was a good amount of time in between each race. Um, so like the 50 free was like so out of my mind by the time that relay came around. So it was good. Have a and, lot of time and then, you know, looking at the numbers, 49, 29 on your split. Um, uh, obviously you don't really think, Oh, I want to go this fast in a relay. I'm guessing you just think I want to go fast, but have you, have you been able to process that a little bit since then? Not really. It still seems surreal to me. Um, yeah. Like I just, I don't know where that came from. Cause I don't know. When 50 points have felt pretty good too. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, taking it back to the beginning of the session with the, the delay of the meet, um, can you take me through just kind of the, the couple hours before the meet and not, not necessarily if that affected anything, but just how that got the ball rolling for you all tonight? Um, I know that I walked in the building and they were like, we're evacuating the stands. And I was like, oh my God gosh I like I knew the division two NCAAs got canceled yesterday for it so I was a little nervous but um it went by pretty fast it was kind of fun to just be around other teams and just talk in the locker room that we were in um but once things got rolling again it was kind of just business as usual and we did our thing yeah Kylie any additional thoughts on on the, that kind of a weird start to the night yeah, it was really weird, but I think if anything, if this year has taught us anything, that it's that we can handle stuff like that. And um, so I don't think anybody was really too <laughs> caught off guard, but we were glad that it wasn't like a super long delay. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, and then uh, you know, just winning NC State, NC State women's first ever program relay title. It, I'm, I'm guessing that had been a goal of the coaches. Had that been a goal uh, uh, for you as athletes? And did you think it would happen in this relay specifically? Yeah, like I feel like getting a relay title has always been a goal for us because it's never been done before. 
Um, we didn't pick any relay. Um, we have quite a few good relays, so we're trying. We just tried to go to into each relay with a fresh mind, and um, even though we didn't like win the two and three, it didn't really change it, our mindset going into this one, which I think really helped us. And and then, not only winning that first relay title, but you know, um, obliterating the U.S. Open and NCAA records by half a second uh, was. Was that something that that was even had even crossed you all's mind of like not only winning but like ooh that that relay title? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, I I'm still like don't have words to say. Like I touched the wall and I was like, did we just win? Like I, it just there's so many things going through my head right now and um, like I, it took us a while to realize we actually I broke the record. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that we had gotten a record. Like, I just looked at that number one, and that's that was just, yeah, that was enough uh, to, to think about. <laughs> that was enough for one day. I get it. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, Kylie, Julia, congratulations, and thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And we're back with the, the first half of the NC State Fordham Medley National Champions, Catherine Burkoff, Sophie Hansen. Um, <laughs> Can you can you take me through each of your individual splits and kind of what you were thinking as as you were going through your swims? Honestly, I did not see that coming. Like it would it was just kind of a long night to be honest, and I was like in the ready room just thinking, "Oh god, just I hope I can like do something worthy." And then I I don't know. I guess we just pulled it together really well. <laughs> I was pretty hyped though, I guess. I don't know, it was fun. Yeah, no, it was so much fun. Like she said, like we were kind of low key before and just like trying to have fun and like going with positive attitude. And then it, yeah, no, we all did so well and we're shocked but very happy. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, backing it up, kind of starting the night with the, uh, the delay of the meet, did that, I mean, throw you at all? Was that, can you tell me about how that kind of got the ball rolling for the session? I mean, it was only like a half an hour we got pushed back yeah. and it did not throw me off. Like I knew everyone was in the same situation and it was just kind of like accepting it and they pushed back the competition. So we still had time for warm up and doing all our preparations. So it didn't bother me. Yeah, it kind of made the whole thing pretty lighthearted because we were able to joke about it. And I guess there's a good bonding experience for like everyone across all the teams. Um, but I thought, I don't know, it's kind of cool. First tornado. So I was pretty excited. <laughs> they don't have tornadoes in Montana? No, not in Western Montana. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then uh, with, with the 200 free relay and then Catherine with your 50 free, you know, how was, was it hard to get that energy up for the medley relay having already done a relay and then for uh, again, Catherine on an individual as well? Yeah, I think that's why I was like, kind of like nervous, I guess, for the medley, just cause like my individual wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but I was glad I could like, put something up for the relay that was pretty cool but um yeah I think it was kind of like a little draining but I don't know we were having a lot of fun in the ready room which definitely helped a lot uh Sophie you were on the 200 free relay right sorry were you on the 200 free relay as well Yes, I was the last person. So what was that? What was the back to back like for you? Were you pretty prepared for those for both of those swims? Yeah, no, I was. Um, I didn't do the 50 free in between. So I had a lot of time, almost two hours between my races. And a 50 is so fast and it doesn't really like get you really tired. So I was already so for that, really. And then, you know, a couple of similar questions I asked the other two girls. I mean, heading into this relay, was was the uh, was the U.S. Open and NCAA record a pretty big surprise for you all? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know. <laughs> I, like, I did not. I just was so oblivious. <laughs> I just had no clue. <laughs> I knew it was exciting. I just didn't know we got the. That was pretty cool. Nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then i mean can can you just put into words um 
what it means to have been a part of NC State's first ever women's relay title in program history? It means so much. Coming back to the hotel and like seeing all of our friends because they're not allowed to go to the pool and everyone was so emotional and it was such a cool experience and yeah no we all really bond together and we're the four people that won the trophy but we have the entire team behind us and we couldn't have done it without them. And, uh, so, you know, obviously moving through a meet like a, a big meet like this, um, there's a lot, there's kind of a lot you have to manage as athletes, you know, sleep, nutrition, recovery, um, and then added in COVID protocols too. Um, how do you, how do you feel like you've been able to move through these first three sessions of this meet? I honestly feel like it hasn't been a challenge really just cause this, the past like year or what however long it's been <laughs> has just been so bizarre like honestly I kind of forgot that NCAs used to have spectators and like we used to have people watching meets <laughs> like that's gonna be so cool when we can have that again but it's like we're I think we're just used to it now it's been pretty easy it's been just fun just because we're all here for each other yeah, like Catherine said, we're so used to it now. And being at ACC a few weeks, weeks, weeks ago was like a rehearsal. Like we went through all the testing, like coming here, same pool, everything. Like we knew it. It was on routine now and we're used to it. Nice. Well, I won't keep you too late. Thank you so much for your time. I really Thank appreciate you. it. And Thank congrats. You. You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swam podcast on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.